<laughs> Another line drive. Hi there, I'm Tim Shane. You know, I've been studying the art of slow pitch softball for a bucket load of years now. And I've come up with a foolproof guaranteed system to improve your softball game every Saturday. We're gonna give you the confidence to field the ball properly, spank it to your favorite chick in the stands, and of course, to racket them up, sitting them down. Hey, looking good, Tim. Shut up. So why don't you grab the wipe of spritzer, maybe put the lazy boy against the wall. But to start our lessons here, we're gonna take it nice and slow. Today's lesson plan includes five key areas and or positions. First off, we start with the basics of hitting and how to really tattoo that softball, even though I'm against tattoos. Next, we move on to third base. It's the toughest position on the field, even tougher than having to sell my Bronco. Love that thing. We then take it to the outfield, where crow hopping is king, but we keep it casual and have a little fun. Our fourth step is pitching, the title card of the VHS program. A rack em up and sit them down mentality. Notice the copyright, that's my phrase. I better never see that show up on a t-shirt. And we close up with offense signs, the most important part of base running. Pay attention for key signs so that you don't cost us the game or I'll start spreading town rumors. Here are some topics I will not be discussing today. Dugout chatting, fleet cleaning, life advice. Sure, I've made plenty of mistakes in my life, but I never learned the lessons. Don't ask me for life advice. <laughs> Get out of here. Oh. Guy's awesome. You know, I think some of the great American hitters of all time, I think of batting box bombers like Gary Dubois and Tom the Tub Johansson. Rest in peace, guys. Now, what do these guys have in common with hitting the ball? Complete disregard for human life. Spank the hell out of it. Oh, no. Damn. All right, that's all right. We'll do it again. In the Rack em Up and Sit em Down program, there are only three stances that'll help you increase your power, giving pitchers the heebie-jeebies and getting you going yard. Let's just say you're a leadoff hitter facing the top pitcher in your league. He's one bad dude and he's got the yin-yang necklace to prove it. I kind of want one. I recommend using a stance called Hope You Wore Your Cup. Taz here is going to assert dominance by crowding the plate like it's a hot scampy. Sure, it could mean a sinker might hit him in the sprinkler, but now that you're in the pitcher's head, he'll be throwing lollipop so sweet you'll get a cavity. Nice yin yang, you dipshit. Guy's a dipshit. Next up's my go to guy, Rico, showing us the butcher's widow. That means he's posing as a number nine hitter. Squaring up like a Frenchman. But surprise, surprise, Rico's a number three hitter. He's bulking up on homemade energy sludge. Just take a gander at those nutrients. I tried it myself. That means he's slamming it down your throat and signing that same ball for your son. Rico! That a boy, Rico. All right, now this is the final stance, my personal one. Little thing I like to call, round him up, up, up. You can never do it. When you hit home runs like me, waste no time getting home. One. A fast sprint around the bases shows you mean business. See you later. And when you come around that final turn, watch this. Pick up my ancient home run katanas for a mighty finish across home plate. Fucking safe, 20 seconds. Welcome to the hot corner. Jesus. Jesus. At third base, you gotta be ready for anything over here. But a way to make a play is to stay low. Kinda like when you're spying on your ex-wife and son hanging out with her new boy toy, Donnie. I hope she's happy. Look the ball in and make the play. Now Taz here is a first time third baseman. Taz finally gets to see his kid on the weekend and he just looks like an idiot. I stopped by to see Taz to see what his problem was. And right off the bat, I knew exactly what to do.
time to get Taz looking tough and ready for the hot corner. Step one, trim him up. Step two, shave him up. That's an aerodynamic shave. Step three, drink him up. Step four, introduce him to Mr. Tickler. And step five, wait. It's natural for the body to reject your new staff. Clean to the woods is a common reaction. If Taz comes back, oh, he'll be great. And if he doesn't, well, Taz will be dead. Love that guy. Welcome to right field. Now, if you're playing out here, you've either had too many light beers, maybe you're somebody's fiance, or you're just playing fat. Point is, you stuck out here for a reason, I'm here to help. Playing out here isn't just about throwing the ball back to all the good players on your team, like me. It's also about fighting off boredom. Heck, sometimes I'll just crank one out to give these guys something to do. No, it's over there, you dummy. <laughs> there you go. That's why when Rico gets put out here, I encourage him to take advantage of the downtime. Call him my friend Sal Palandino. He takes headshots for all the seniors down at the high school. And it's a great time to start working on your personal player card. Nice, Rico. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, right there. Somebody's ready for the runway. And once you get a handful of these, take them down to your local mall and start handing them out. It's a great way to meet the ladies. I like going to the mall, it's like a big house full of expensive stores and I, I don't have a credit card. These guys here, uh, even though they didn't want my baseball card, really good guys, um, really want to be friends with them, maybe next time I go back. I love the food court, it's my favorite restaurant even though it makes me sick every time. They have some really great healthy options there too, like salad and I'll eat it sometimes and I always get sick. Pitching is all about technique. First off, settle in and find a comfortable starting position. Next up, plant your foot towards the batter. Notice how strong my calves are. And finally, follow through. Notice I've got my mitt over my meat. I'm protecting my reproductive organs should a dinger come for my stinger. You know, the keys to pitching are simple. You always want to picture the batter as your worst enemy. For instance, your boss Brett, who won't get off your back. Your ex-wife, who took your son and now lives with Donnie. The guy can only bench 150. Maybe even a Catholic demon. Damn it. You know, on second thought, pitching doesn't really matter. You know what it does though? A little post-game jacuzzi. Tired of the sissy stuff? Want power and speed? Get Rico Dina Dally's Ultra Gym Back. Invented by softball legend Rico Dina Dally. Rico's been on the diamond for years, improving his power with bags, benches, and home run weights. All yours for six quick payments, fifty-seven ninety-nine. His leg power is extreme. I tried it myself. Rico guides with a VHS full of exhausting lessons. Hit homers like Rico and help your team do the championship. It's a goner. Great. Call one eight hundred SOFT for Rico Di Natale's Ultra Gym Pack. I approve. But I'm 
glad you made it to the end of the tape. We're talking about one final thing, signs. And they're a lot simpler than you think. Signs like hitting, stealing, stop. All the fundamentals of a good third base coach. You know, my dad used to be a third base coach. <laughs> His name was Jerry. He'd basically just send all the kids home. <laughs> Sprint now, steal that base. When you coach in third, don't blow the game. You're the guy in the box calling all the shots, and you give high fives when you round and try. Freeze! Now wave them in. I put money on this game. I want to win. Bring a couple light beers. Keep them cold in store. When I hit home runs, you're bound to get bored. Yeah, my name's Tim Shane. I'm a softball legend. There's an old wives tale that I'm 6'11". My shorts are short, and my arms are long. I like to smoke menthols, but I don't smoke bombs. So just try me, man. Your fast ones I'll hit. I'm sponsored by the best Seeders Outlet. So come on, everybody. Let's get to work. And don't invite Jerry, because he's a jerk. Now, though I win a lot, I live a lonely life. But that's what happens when you used to have a wife. Yeah, I miss Tina. Sure, we had a good run. Now, won't you come back and let me see my son. So to all you guys, you ex-wives you miss, always cherish what you have and give your son a big kiss. But this softball video will surely attract all the skills you need to win your family back. Now the skills you've learned will make you mighty and mean, but there's no way in hell you're playing for my team. Yeah, I got Rico, Taz, yeah, my whole gang's hit. Since 1981, 10 championships. It takes a softball team to be a softball dream. And the ladies know that I'm mighty and mean. I'm the sheriff of the softball town. Now get out there, guys. Crack them up. Sit them down. <laughs>